Let's work on question 9 in this video. So we're still having the same context where we have this human rights organization and we want to see whether uh, we're discriminating the prices of soda based on the proportion of black people in that region and based on the actual region, whether it's New Jersey or not. Now, what can we conclude from the information given above? And notice, what do we have in this information? We have the coefficients, we have the standard error of those coefficients based on this sample, and the sample has 401 observations, but we do not know whether they are significant or not. So, in part A, we reject the null hypothesis that the average price of soda in New Jersey with no black inhabitants is the same as the price in New Jersey with 50% of black inhabitants. In other words, since we're keeping the same location in New Jersey, we want to know whether the proportion of black people has a significant effect. In, we are, we want to know whether this coefficient is significant. That's the hypothesis. So under the null hypothesis in part A over here, we're having whether this coefficient, let's call it beta 2, since the New Jersey, we could call it as beta 1, the proportion of black people beta 2 and the constant let's call it beta 0 so we want to know whether beta 2 is significantly different from 0 under the null it is equal to 0 under the alternative it is different than 0 so under the alternative it is different than 0 now how can we calculate this we're gonna have to calculate a t value and find out whether that's a significant result or not meaning we want to know whether the sample coefficient which is 0 0.028 is significantly different than 0. So the t-test is going to be the difference between the beta coefficient in our sample from the beta coefficient under the null hypothesis relative to the standard error of the beta coefficient in the sample. So we want to know this difference, we want to measure it in terms of standard errors. Meaning we're going to take the difference between 0 0.028 minus 0. So we're going to have here 0 0.028. Since we're having here a 0, we you know, it's not going to change the result. So we're dividing this one by the standard error of beta, which is given to us as 0.024 if we round up. 0.024. Now that t value is going to be equal to, so this t value is going to be equal to 1.18. 1.18. Now, how can we conclude anything from here? We have to compare with the critical value. Let me just zoom out, get more space. Whenever we want to give a conclusion here, and we have so many observations, so we have 401 observations, we know that when the sample size is really big, then the t-distribution is very similar to a z-distribution, so we can use the z-critical values to give a conclusion. Now, the z-critical value is symmetrical around the mean of 0. We're also testing at the 5% significance level, it's given over here, meaning that the critical values we're going to use are going to be 1.96, 1.96 over here, that's going to be one potential rejection region, and symmetrically minus 1.96, so minus 1.96 over there. Now, our result is 1.18, let's plot it on the graph. It's going to be somewhere over here, 1.18. We can see graphically, we're not in the rejection region, so we do not reject the null hypothesis. We do not reject age zero. Meaning that the proportion of black people, this variable over here, does not have a significant effect on the average price of soda that the uh, country is setting. So over here, we do not reject the null hypothesis. That's why this is not true. It's not highlighted. What do we have in part B? We reject the null. Let me actually zoom out to part, zoom in to part B because it has to be more, uh, you know, visible. We reject the null hypothesis that the average price of soda in states other than New Jersey, with no black inhabitants, is the same as the price in states other than New Jersey with 50% of black inhabitants. So we're dealing now with other states than New Jersey. So we're keeping the same location, whatever that is, meaning that the dummy variable in both cases is going to take the value of zero. And we're comparing the difference between having zero versus 50% of black people. That's the same as looking at the effect of the proportion of black people on the price, which we just did. And we saw that we do not reject that hypothesis. So these two are testing the same thing. We're giving the same conclusion, meaning they're both false. We are not rejecting that hypothesis. What do we have in part C? We reject the null hypothesis that the average price of soda in fast food restaurants in New Jersey with 40% black inhabitants is the same as in other cities, other states than New Jersey with 40% of black inhabitants. Notice that here we're changing the hypothesis. We're keeping the same proportion, assuming 40% in both cases, but we're comparing the difference between New Jersey versus not New Jersey, meaning we're testing the dummy coefficient, so we want to know whether this one is significantly different from zero. We're going to replicate the same logic, so we're going to zoom out, get more space, and over here in part C, we're having the hypothesis that beta, which beta we're having? Beta 1 in this case, at least on our notation, 
whether beta 1 is 0 or significantly different than 0. 0 versus not 0. So this would be different than 0 under the null hypothesis. Now, same logic, we're going to use our t value and compare it with the z distribution. The t value is going to be the difference between the beta in our sample. Again, let me zoom in because, um, yeah, we're not seeing it. It's going to be 0 0.085, so that's the coefficient, minus 0 relative to the null hypothesis. So 0 0.085, and we're dividing by the standard error of the beta in our sample. So that's going to be over here, 0 0.0095. So let's substitute that value. We're going to have over here 0 0.0095. Now, if we solve the math over here, we would get a t value equals to 8.9. And that's a really high t value because if we're plotting on the z distribution underneath it over here, notice 8.9 is going to be very far on the z distribution over there. So it's clearly in the rejection region, meaning that the location, whether we're in New Jersey or not, has a significant effect on the average price of the soda that we are setting. So yes, we are rejecting that null hypothesis. That's what the answer key tells us. That's why it's highlighted because it's true and we are done.